postpartum as is already it's just a hard time for a mom your body your hormones your just like mental health your physical health it's just a lot it's overwhelming it's a brand new you you're literally birthing not only a child but a new you hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is elisa i am a mommy of two i just gave birth to my son may 27 he's almost six months which is crazy because he's getting so big so fast like I feel like since this time around, since I knew how fast they grew, I tried to cherish my moments with him more. Um, but I still feel like time went by like that. But I wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about how I have been trying to uplift myself and love and how I have fallen in love with my postpartum body this time around. Of course, I am not an expert. I am not a self-love expert, but I also am a mom of two. I have experience. I know how it feels and how you can feel about yourself and about your body after giving birth. Like it's rough trying to fall in love with this new you and this new body. But I'm gonna show you guys some tips that I've been doing these last couple of months and what have honestly helped me. Like I haven't really felt terrible about my body like I used to, um, with, like I did with Isabella with my first pregnancy. So let's get on with some tips. My first tip is to realize and recognize what you went through and how long it took for you to grow your human your baby inside of your belly it took nine months some people eight months but it took nine months for your body to form it took nine months for your baby to form and grow inside of your belly so what makes you think after a week after two weeks after a month that you will bounce back from birth like, i mean for some people you know they do bounce back but everybody is different and for me i'm different like i didn't just bounce back like this so instead of bouncing back putting yourself down appreciate yourself love yourself realize wow i literally gave birth via c-section or vaginal it took like my body did that let me love my body let me give my body positive energies let me speak highly of my body because it really did take me through nine months of pregnancy it really did take me through birth and it really is taking me through postpartum like my body is amazing all right so my next tip for you is to get up and get dressed every single day once you start feeling up to it and feeling good um i feel like that really helped me this time around in postpartum with bella all i did was wear big t-shirts and just look like a big hot mess which granted you're allowed to you just gave birth no matter how long it takes like if you just want to be in a big t-shirt do you boo like no one's judging you but I just feel like it helped me getting up and getting dressed like I was going somewhere. Even if I wasn't leaving the house, even if I was just going to Starbucks that day, even if I was just getting groceries that day. If you're going to be cleaning up poop and hearing a baby cry all day, why not do it looking cute? And then that way you can take nice pictures of yourself with your baby and look good. You know, you're going to have some pictures of you looking a mess and the pictures of you looking so beautiful and fly like, you know. So get up, get dressed, because you look good, you feel good, and that's what it's all about. This next tip is something that I have been sticking with for a really long time since I've given birth, and I feel like it has really helped me, and it is not putting myself down, not talking badly about myself or my body when I'm looking in the mirror or if I'm talking to someone. Even if I'm ranting or complaining, I still do not talk badly about myself. Um, and if I do, if I find myself doing that, which, you know, sometimes we get caught up, then I correct myself. So let's say I'm looking in the mirror after getting dressed and I'm just like, oh, like I see my rolls. I see like how big I am. I see things don't fit right. Instead of being like, oh, I'm so big. Like I don't look the same. I'm so ugly. I'm so this. I'm so that. I stop myself and say, I am beautiful. I love my body. My body took me through this pregnancy right now. Isn't the time. If I don't look how I want to look, that's okay. I will. Ha I have time to do that. But right now in the season that I am, this is how I look. I am beautiful, I am beautiful, I am beautiful. I always tell myself I am beautiful and when I look at myself in the mirror, I always tell myself that I'm a hottie. Whatever you want to feel like, tell yourself that. If you're in the mirror and you look and you're like, oh, I'm so ugly, stop yourself and give yourself two compliments. If you gave yourself one bad compliment, give yourself two good compliments. So let's say I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, I'm so ugly. I'm like, mm, I am so beautiful and I have a nice butt. Or I am so beautiful and my hair looks so good, my hair is so luscious. Find something to compliment yourself about. 
and eventually you will start believing it okay so this next tip is to eat nutritious foods I know the burgers and the fries and the chick-fil-a and the pizza and just all that good stuff is just so yummy and I'm not coming for you guys cuz I'm the same I love chick-fil-a I've ate chick-fil-a I think almost three times this week but you will feel so much better eating some veggies and drinking some water and just filling your body with nutritious things so after you eat you feel good because I don't know about you guys when I eat pizza or burgers or fries I just feel like slouchy I don't I don't feel like you know my energy is just all over the place but when I drink smoothies eat smoothie bowls for breakfast when I eat vegetables and all that good stuff I feel so great so try to sneak in some good nutritious things into your diet make sure you're getting nutrition therefore you can feel good I have a couple videos on my channel of my favorite smoothies and smoothie bowls that I have made let me know if you guys want some more videos on those because I have been kind of wanting to get back into eating smoothie bowls for breakfast as you guys know when I was pregnant with Ezekiel I ate a lot but then I ended up stopping. I don't know. I think that was my craving when I was pregnant with him was smoothies and smoothie bowls. Let me know if you guys want more smoothie bowls, more smoothies, more salad recipes on my channel. And I would do that for you guys. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm wishing you guys an amazing postpartum journey. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. You guys can find me on there. And comment if you guys have any other postpartum videos you guys want to see or just any other videos you guys want to see thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace